A new record that nobody wanted. 2024 is now officially the hottest year on record, a threshold that experts say could lead to more severe climate disasters. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Dustin Dorsey looks at the effects climate change is having on the state. Apocalyptic views in Southern California has everyone looking for answers as fires continue to burn. This is like Mars, the moon, Armageddon, climate change. I mean, something's going on here. It's, it's absolutely, utterly insane. Fires are complex, but most experts agree one contributing factor stands above the rest, climate change. It does seem like the, uh, the hotter Earth is generating more, more and more extreme weather for, the, for everybody. When we issue a particularly dangerous situation, um, that's usually a five to ten year event, and yet here we've issued three of them in the past three months. 2024 was the hottest year on record. For the first time ever, the global temperature rose by more than 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit compared to the pre-industrial average. And the heating planet causes a phenomenon that San Jose State climate scientist Eugene Cordero says is known as hydroclimate whiplash. Where you go from dry to wet, back to dry, um, is something that's, that's challenging to forecast. But um, certainly something California has been experienced before. We have these super dry years, and then it could, then next thing you know, we're having these floods. That's because warm air works like a giant sponge. When it releases water, it can soak our state, like with the historic atmospheric rivers from past winters. But when that water gets soaked back up, CSU East Bay Assistant Professor Tony Marks Block says there may not be significant rainfall for months, like we've seen in Southern California. It becomes really prime conditions for these extreme fire events and the Santa Ana winds or the phone winds accelerated the spread of fire. Mark's block says extreme conditions like these are possible throughout the state, including here in the Bay Area. We know that these are not once in a hundred year events anymore, that these are events that are still, you know, not happening everywhere all the time, but the risk of these events is becoming higher. As the weather becomes more unpredictable, Cordero says we may need to adjust where and how we live to prevent further destruction. Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.